okay thank you for tuning in uh remember to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it drop your suggestions for topics to talk about and we're on a road to a thousand subscribers so just hit that subscribe button <laughs> Oh no, I want to do uh, like the smoke cousin. Ah, you know what? it's not working for you. Let it go. It's <laughs> 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 yeah. so. Welcome to a new episode of What's Out of Pocket. Out of Pocket. All right, same one we started every video with a shot. Shot of club. Shot of club. Shirts. Oh, you gonna chug that wine? That's Cheers. why you're I'm not chugging this, but there you go. Cheers. Shut Thank up. you. Mm. Refreshing. So what we're we sipping on today? Honey liqueur. Honey liqueur. Krupnik. Kirkland. You missed the bag. Yeah. All right. No. So today we got a guest, a guest caller. Mm -hmm. mm. You trying? You trying to tell the people your name? Hello, guest. Hello. Are you with us, guest? Hello. Sim. Sim. Ba. Hello. Ah, today I. What's she doing? What's she doing? Sim. <laughs> Two hours later. Yo, I can't hear you. What do you mean, can't hear, hear us? It's like. I hear a little bit and then it cuts out. Well, mad, 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 mad. So can you hear now? Can you hear now? Okay, I hear it now, yeah. Oh, you trying to introduce yourself to the peoples? Yeah, so my name's Sim. What's up? Hello. Hello. Alright, okay, so Sim, uh, since you're the guest, you got a question for us? <laughs> I don't know. Toby right now. Yeah, exactly. Pulling a, a sweet Toby and pr Pricey. <laughs> Shout out to Pricey. Oh, yeah, we got to address. Pr Pricey is not here because she's out saving the world. So, yeah. essential. 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 <laughs> so, she's we're trying to pricey. hold it down in her place with uh, Worldwide. It's not going to be the same, but. Absolutely not. Pricey, we miss you. <laughs> we miss, we miss Pricey. you. Pricey, <laughs> come back. Come get rid of this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got I got uh, some viewer questions. Let me save uh, Sim over here. Uh, so the first question was, why is it that when you're talking to a guy, it's from Ashley. Shout out to Ashley. Mm -hmm. Why is it that when you're talking to a guy, they bring up other girls? I mean, other girls that they're talking to. Why do you think they do that? It's for the guys, mm -hmm. and then you can put in your. Well, they want to seem like they have other people they're talking to so that you come correct <laughs> in a sense in a sense in a sense they're trying to show that they got options the they, they feel me. like the more girls they're talking to like the more respect you would have to yeah, yeah. i'm sorry i've never ever <laughs> in the history of ever speaking to someone yeah i've had a man said that they're talking to other women at the same time no not that they say it. they'll be like oh this other girl i'm talking to like oh i guess no. they, they do say it. yeah no that's never happened to me wow. this is wild no that's the thing I, i'm with toby i'm with toby on that one i think it's like an assertion of like you know i got, I got bitches i got hoes. but at the same time i also think it's like some Desperado yeah. move, like, yeah, you got it. Yeah, it's trying yeah, to show the girl, part. like, oh, you're not the only one. Yeah, so you're not that like, important. Yeah. So, like, if, if you got girls, your personality should say it. You don't gotta tell mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. that you got girls. So, <laughs> for the males out there, stop it. Don't. You don't have to say it. Don't you know? yeah. just yeah. allow well, it. That's okay. Like, if a woman asks, are you speaking to anyone else? Don't you that's lie. open lie. invitation. Don't no, you. don't lie. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Lord, have mercy. Um, no, do not lie. When does that, that question pop up? Hmm. Um, if you want to know where you stand with the person, because okay. you don't want to be out here acting like you're booed up when the other person is still exploring yeah. their options. True. Right? Yeah. True. So that's you, what you, wanna, you want to know whether you're being exclusive or exactly. you can explore. And it's not a bad thing. I don't think any woman's necessarily going to run for the hills that they like, I'm speaking to someone else. I think they'll respect the fact you're being honest and then it's up to them whether they want to continue pursuing you or not or well, whether, whether they want to come correct or not mm -hmm. <laughs> Sam, how do you feel about that? Um, yeah, I agree Um, but like I've never had a guy like tell me like he's talking to like another mm -hmm. girl like the same time as me 
But if I have guys, like, they'll talk about girls they've been with. So what would happen to you if a guy told you he's found another girl? What would your um, response be? Like, if he, like, tells me he's talking to another girl at the same time as he's talking to me? Yeah. Then I'm cutting. But that's the thing though, like why would you cut? Because it's, it's an honesty, because I'm pretty sure if you're talking to a guy, you already know there's like a little bit of you that knows that he's talking to other girls. Mm-hmm. And so, so you might be talking to other guys too. Exactly, exactly. So it's, like, it's like a two-way street. Mm. So like, just, because, I, just because we're talking does not mean we're exclusive. No. Yeah. yeah. Un- I, I, un- unless that tone has been said that, okay, now we, we're exclusive, then I get running away from the situation, but like we just getting to know each other we're talking mm. so no exclusives Danny the love doctor I'm not being a love doctor <laughs> Cupid uh, <laughs> I can't expect another guy not to be speaking to anyone else while I'm speaking to someone that's else that's the thing so if he tells you I guess it's a matter of respect uh-huh. like it's like an undisclosed information but the moment you put it out there it's like you don't you don't rate them enough to like be discreet about it mm-hmm. even though we both know what's happening mm. so Again, lie boys, don't say shit. Don't on the low. <laughs> You're not. Okay, on the low. On the low. <laughs> Great minds. We basically did the same thing you do with girls that we, you, we like we did it with, Kirk, with Kirkland. We're telling Kirkland that we talking to other, <laughs> other people. You're not a sister, bro. You don't come correct. Snips, snips. <laughs> All right, okay, I got another question from another viewer. His name is Andrew. Uh-oh. So Andrew asked. So he said he used to live in Toronto for a while. Oh boy, bless him. And he Where? couldn't get over why, why, uh, why some girls are being stuck up and stuff. So he wants to know why men in Toronto gotta act hard, or men in general have to act hard to portray what they don't got and you know a different persona of themselves. And also why women have to act so hard to get in contact with, like, you know, make it difficult to communicate with them. So now, we can answer the male side, but we need to answer your... Okay. You, yeah, so why do women mm-hmm. make it harder to, for people to talk to them if they actually want people to talk to them? Because I think it's all about the chase and seeing how far a guy's willing to go to try to break down that barrier. That's the way I see it. So women essentially like the chase, is that what you're saying? Well, you can only... They want to t- see how hard a guy's going to work to, like... If a guy right away, if you give a certain persona to a guy and he like is not up to the challenge or up to trying to break down that barrier you put up and he ain't worth your time. So I think that's the way. I'm not saying that's how it should be. I'm just saying that's why I think maybe some girls do come off as hard or stush or they have like, I don't know, a stank resting bitch face on because of that. That's the way I see it. Yeah, Sim, what do you have to say about this? Yeah, I agree with that. Come on, come on, come on. (laughs) <laughs> elaborate. Elaborate on your thoughts. At the end of the day, though, some women just don't want to speak to you. Well, so that, yeah. <laughs> like, 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 like you might take your thoughts to you. But but the thing is that when you know you're willing to talk to the guy, you're interested yeah. in the guy, why elongate the chase? Because mm-hmm. a guy can only chase for so long. Yeah, man, we're not we're not robots. We're, we're running out of stamina. Well, and well, you know you, guys, you like the guy, but you're still making the guy chase. Mm-hmm. But guys, we always say we appreciate the chase too. There you we go. Got, That's yeah. what I was about to say. Yeah, yeah. the girl is very nah, open. open. Exactly. Nah. You're like, yeah, no, I don't know about that. No. But once she makes you graft, you know, work for that, then you be like, hmm. and also, no, yeah. There's a give and take, though. Mm-hmm. Like, you can't just have me chasing you around like a dog chasing his tail. No, absolutely. Like. You're gonna have to give a, a little, little bit, bit mm-hmm. to let me know that okay, yeah. there's yeah. something, yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, yeah. there's something there waiting for <laughs> me at the end of this marathon. Yeah, yeah. encourage me. You, you need to give me that boost. Okay, keep me coming on for more. Not so, so I guess now it's it's at the point of like you know reading the clues. If she gives you something to go on, keep chasing. Mm-hmm. If she don't give you shit, shit. free hot please. Free hot. Yeah. That's it. Just, just free. Let, let it go. That's it. Yeah. Okay, for the guys, what do you think uh, guys uh, try to flex up, do the whole bow wow thing and all that? Why are you taking pictures Pretend, in front of yeah. jobs that are not yours? Like, you know, flexing post. money that, you know, you got to pay as oh, rent yeah. or something. <laughs> Acting like you got billions and shit when you really work in a part-time job yeah. and all that. Like, why do guys try to put themselves higher than they actually are? Actually, make them look like they're the shit. 
like you feel like I mean, if you can impress enough then you get the girl i think that's an insecurity thing you see, yeah, so yeah. like so you, see, you, you, don't, you don't believe in yourself you know yeah. that if i'm going to be myself she's going to want to be with me so yeah. then i uh, paint a picture that I it's flashy and shiny yeah. and more yeah. appealing right so then it seems like it's a two-way thing girls acting stuck up makes guys front up more because if you guys are acting like you're not interested, so they gotta act extra peacocky to get your attention. Mm. So. But make sure you can stand on that peacock shit, because it'll catch up to you at the end of the day. Eventually, and it's gonna make you look like a fool. Eventually. But some guys don't know that. So guys don't Bobo think the clown. that far ahead. <laughs> uh, they think about getting in the moment, yeah. and then at that moment, it's like, uh, GG. We didn't think this far. <laughs> <laughs> at least what at least. <laughs> Say something. Are you gonna no, 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 he doesn't have anything. Do you have something? Though? I've been talking since. Two no, no, no I've been talking question. too. Do you have a question, bro? A question? No. <laughs> there you have it. I'll process. I'll process. I'll come back to you. All right, let me give another viewer question. So, this one was Why is it that someone you start talking to that you expect or have heard tales about being good in bed and everything? Why is it that when you finally get in bed with them, it's not, it's always a disappointment most of the time? So you heard from other friends of yours? Or? Yeah, like, like. Or you, it was from his own mouth saying, oh, this is what I'm going to do to you. Well, that type of stuff. And also from like, you, you just kind of expect it. Like the person, like you expect that they're in bed. Like there's certain type of people you see. Yeah. And you think that they're actually nice in bed. Yeah. And once that happens, you get to that point. Uh-huh. And it's almost like. You can't really blame that person. That's no. your you idea of what mm -hmm. you expected. So that's, that's not that person's saying. fault. So. It's it's really the whole expectation thing. The bar has been set so high that unless that man dives deep in your pussy and just like <laughs> boxes, like fist fights you, <laughs> like just whole beat it down. Oh God. That's not happening. What? You gotta remember, it's just a rod. It don't got arms. Oh my god. You're gonna cut that part. My thing is, it also depends on what you want from the guy. So if you see a future with the guy, you can work with him and it might get better. It usually does get better. Oh uh, yeah? Yeah, I think so, because you learn each other's bodies, you learn what you don't like and what you do like. So then, does that mean you drop your expectation? No. 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 You just so learn you you what the person likes yeah. and go from there like you you know what you, you cannot know what a person likes the first time you have sex with them no that's exactly there's no way you might get lucky yeah you could be lucky and then you know what the person oh yeah just likes. that good in bed no yeah, exactly or, or you know so now what you're saying is we gotta have a questionnaire so right. before you get there fill out this shit fill out this shit we know what to work on and what to do so that when we get in there you're gonna fill out a questionnaire. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear yourself right now? It's called getting to know yourself. Exactly. You, know? you don't need it's a questionnaire. It's not a question. It's called getting to know yourself. Right. So like, so you could be terrible the first time. And just that just because you did not know what the person something likes. Something you usually does do that floats one woman's boat might not float the yeah, other. Yeah, that's true. So you just gotta learn about one another. And that again is only if you're trying to see a future with this person. If you just wanted to one time hit one time and it just didn't work out at all. Well, well, it is what it is. Take your L and move at on. At that point, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but but and there are some people you hit it the first time like, damn, that was good. And you wanna go back for a second round, but you know, it's a one time thing like, oh. It depends. It depends on what it is. So if someone was really good in bed and you weren't trying to like actually have something serious, you would be willing to like change that just because of sex? No, I mean you sex want to go back for one more. Sex can be great. So yeah. So <laughs> sex is gonna be the whole basis of your so if you're not piping, no, no. you're not dating. No, it doesn't mean no, you're no, dating. No, 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 no. Relax. 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 If the sex is great, <laughs> 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 we, can, we can ignore everything else. <laughs> no, no, no. It opens up your mind to other possibilities, you know. Opens up your that. mind. <laughs> also, the other way around, you can have a really good mental connection or a and good emotional connection, and the sex not, might not be great the first one, two times, but you're willing to work on yeah. it because you have that strong connection outside of the bedroom. Yeah. I can agree to that. Yeah. yeah. I, now I have a question. Okay. Would, you, would you be with someone yeah. that you know you know you guys connect on all of them, yeah. but sexually dead? 
No. I won't. No. That too, no. Well, it also depends on who you are, like as a person, how much you value that. And I think it's very important in a relationship, but someone yeah. else might not think so. So, so that your person makes you happy on all other levels, but sexually, you just don't make them. That's what you call a friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Touche. <laughs> oh, oh. Why are we trying to kill ourselves for something that we... I'm dead. Because, no, but there are people out there that are not very sexual beings. They're just not. Yeah. So, so that might work for somebody. I'm going to say, for me, it will not work. <laughs> Sam, how you feel? Oh, oh, yes, I would. See? Really? Uh, yeah. So how are you going to satisfy that need that you're going to set yourself off? It's called a vibrator. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are many things out there you can work with. So, so is that is that going to be the solution, Sim? Huh? A vibrator. Is that what you're gonna use if uh, they don't touch it right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> you got no choice. It's 2021, guys. We'll figure it out. So the child just said no? I said no. Told me? I believe I can't, yeah. Nah, see, I feel like that's the type of stuff that will lead someone into cheating. Yes, I agree. True, absolutely. absolutely. Like, you, you hear other people talking about this well, shit. so many times, I, you've got to hit the right spot. <laughs> Come on, like you have to know. If they don't, if they don't um, satisfy you, then you can still teach them. Yeah, exactly. Eventually, you'll get there. It's a teaching yeah. thing. How long is eventually? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, patience is something I work on, you know? <laughs> Eventually, you'll get there. See, now this is the thing, though, right? Like, if they're not hitting the right spot and you have to like make it your point to teach them. So now you're stepping away from like a relationship between the two of you to now trying to make it work for you. Is that really a relationship though? No, 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 You got it all wrong. You care about the person <laughs> enough wrong. to be willing to teach them to help you get to that point. But help you. Who's to say what they're doing isn't working for them? Well, these are conversations you must have. Therefore, <laughs> see, that's the thing. So what we're saying is, before you get in a relationship, pipe. Mm -mm, no, <laughs> no, no. Like, that's not what we're saying. But wait, who doesn't even do that nowadays? That's the first <laughs> thing. That's like the first yeah, box that's, like that's, that's checked like before the, any other thing. Uh, yeah. There's but, still people out there that don't have that don't have marriage, marriage, which, True. I mean, it's not Word like... Worldwide, I'm no. playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Don't get so defensive, bro. Way out of pocket. <laughs> Out of pocket. Put it back Wow. <laughs> How long would you talk to someone for before you consider being serious with somebody? That's a good question, Toby. Wow. wow. First time. <laughs> First time. <laughs> Can we drink yeah. to that? We gotta drink to that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We need a shot. Poor glass. Toby, this is a question. We need a shot. Holy! Yeah, this is a new day. Twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. New year, new shit. Aww. Oh, yo, Sim, grab yourself a glass. This is a rare moment. It never happens. <laughs> Next time it's happening, it's twenty twenty two. Spike a riscotto. Yeah, might as well. Oh, all right. Run it. Drink into Toby asking a question before we actually answer his question. Yes. <laughs> Thank God. Thank you. Really so a question of how long you talk before in a relationship. Oh. Uh, or getting serious with a person. I don't have like I don't have a set amount of time, but mm -hmm. like See now this is where worldwide comes in. No, yeah. you actually have the answer for this. Let it no, out. No, please let us let hear it. Out. I need to know what I should do. Ah, uh, I'll oh. say Danny the love that time. Ah, shut up. <laughs> Cupid. Cupid. <laughs> <laughs> um after two months you already know if you enjoy the person's company. Two months. Uh, uh, I, I, I didn't say uh, serious. I, I didn't say serious. Enjoy the person's company. Of course, yes. So you should like, know that after a week, if you guys hang out like more than once a week. But sometimes, but sometimes people grow on you. you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, that's true. I guess. Yeah. So. Yeah, but then if you have to like bear someone's company, you're not really. You're not, you're not really like, like, like after the first time if we hang out and I feel like it's dead. It's dead. But like some people grow on you eventually. That's the thing. Growing on you just like it just it has a different like connotation to it. It's like it seems like okay you were definitely not interested, but over time you convinced yourself 
Well, to not, be interested. Not, you no. are, it's not like you are definitely not. You are obviously interested to some point to actually hang out with that person at first. Uh -huh. You know. So the more you hang out with the person, now the more time you spend with the person, you begin to realize more stuff that you like about that person that you're willing to, you know, continuously hang out with that person. So that's how someone grows mm -hmm. on you. You're gonna get me drunk, bro. I gotta drink to, to you talking. To me. <laughs> Four more shots, Toby said something. Okay, we gotta drink again because Toby spoke. Okay, we'll drink after this, you know. Okay, drop the cup. Um, I think it depends. If you're doing something where you don't see the person very often, I think it could be more than two months. Say like you met them long distance, but you're not living in the same city or something. I don't think, I think it's gonna get a little bit more time, yeah. oh. personally. No? Long distance is another headache. Yeah, you know, we'll talk about that another episode. <laughs> right? We'll talk about but it. But I just think... That's a good one. That is a good one, we'll right? Talk about okay, that. Okay, we'll talk about it. Different scenarios are gonna like take different amounts of time. That's all I'm trying to say. Yes, but I don't think there's a set amount, to be honest. There's no set amount. And it's hard when you, okay, oh, two months. What's up? Gotta cut you off. Like, I don't know, like... I, I think it's hard to see. You can't. Can, 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 you really can. And then no. I'm not. So you really can? You, no, you really can't. Okay, can't. Okay, can't. Okay. Because okay. you, can, you don't know where you see someone. Yeah. Cash yeah. Yeah. Like you just. I concur. So how long for you? Two months? No, no, no. That's. You said two months. Like, like two months. Like two two months. Like if if it's two months and I don't feel anything. Okay, let me make it more specific. If you're talking to a girl, how long would you talk to the girl? How long did you be talking to before? I mean, never know. It's no, I, I, I wouldn't. I would say I wouldn't years. like me. Me personally, I'm that person that in my past life I used to go too fast, mm -hmm. and now now I've learned to slow down because going too fast sometimes you don't you don't learn things about the person, and mm -hmm. then you're into the relationship and you're learning new things. You're like, whoa, I didn't see this before I got into that situation. So now I've learned to slow down, and so. As long as it takes, like I've seen different scenarios, like okay, we got in a fight and I've seen how you reacted. We, sure. I've seen you when you're happy. I've seen you when another person pissed you off. Can I, can I be in that same environment yeah. with you and whatnot? But it, it all. I used to be I like too. I've seen a meme that said exactly <laughs> the same thing. You say. So you're saying that is quoting from a meme? Pretty much. So, <laughs> I'm not quoting from a meme, but I'm just saying so your past life is a meme. No, I used to go way too fast. So way minute way man. Too fast. No, not hey, me. Hi. Hey, how? <laughs> Fucking nigga, man. No. <laughs> no, no, man. <laughs> so what I mean, what I mean by way too fast, like barely under two months of getting to the person in my head, I'm like, I really like you. Mm. Let's get it. And there are other aspects to a person you cannot learn in that amount yeah, of the time. time. Absolutely. Right. So Absolutely. that's why I said two two months is a bare minimum. These days, sometimes. Oh, these days, like four months, I'm talking to someone. I know I really, really like you, but at the back of my head, I'm like, so no, wait, so when I'm you're talking to someone, are you talking to them every day for four months? Oh, no, not every day. Take, take your time, man. Mm. Why are you rushing? There's no need to rush it. Take your time. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. No need to rush it. I'm just going to say what these quick. days. You sounded defensive about talking to someone every day. There's nothing wrong with talking to someone every yeah. day. Mm -hmm. no, but you made it seem like it's like an abomination to talk to someone. No, no, every day. no, 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 no. It's like, for me personally, it's like there's no need to rush things. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Yeah, but talking to someone, someone every day is yeah, not rushing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's just communicating. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you know, like, I was. If you okay, see, my thing is, if you're able to actually keep a live conversation with someone without seeing them regularly and then when you do see them you're excited to see them the next time and then you're all there talking and then again like literally you're talking about shit as stupid as when you're taking a shit okay <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> well, yeah, no, no. yeah Tara oh, goes no. to you but I'm saying <laughs> something as stupid as if you're able to talk about I, something I like that saying, over yeah. the time and then every time you link up it's like you know, you know another thing though girls never talk about taking a shit Okay, we can yeah, because girls don't shit. Girls, 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 girls be acting like they don't shit. I got three sisters. I know you, y'all shit. <laughs> they don't shit, bro. They exude. I know y'all shit. They exude it in sweat. Don't, they, they don't be acting. They act like they don't shit. Like I'm oh, sorry, we're off topic right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just <laughs> saying. I'm just she saying. She doesn't like the topic she's of shit. The, she's <laughs> just saying. Some about shit that just like. I'm like, yo, like <laughs> y'all be acting. I don't fight. If I'm able to talk to you 
and see my I, I I'm pretty sure honestly if I got diagnosed as a kid I probably have ADHD probably mm -hmm. I'm not sure mm -hmm. but if I'm able to talk to you you can keep my interest yeah despite all the other people I'm talking to I'm yeah. excited to talk to you yeah. and every time we hang out I'm excited to hang out with you I might still be running my sneaky links on the side yeah. but I actually enjoy you mm -hmm. there's no time limit to when I'll be like okay bet let's make yeah. this official because when it's ready it's it, yeah. I feel like it all depends on how how that person views a relationship I agree if you're willing to like jump in and out of relationship if you're one of those people that can be single for a long time then you have like a limited time mm -hmm. but if you're one of those people that you can be single for as long as you mm -hmm. want you can take till you find the right person mm. then bet yeah there's no time limit they like oh, so you love doctor no i'm just saying I love doctor I'm love preaching doctor. Doctor. I'm preaching oh no no let it all thank you thank you so you know it <laughs> seems like my word is final let's take a shot <laughs> Yeah, and Sim, I hope you have a question. Sim, I hope you have a, yeah, exactly. We're waiting That's for that question. question. Thank you. I actually don't have to. Well, one of these days, guys, we'll get a guest that, that, come, that has something to say. It's the guest syndrome. One of these days. It's the like guest syndrome. Look how long it warmed up Toby up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of these five days. episodes. Yeah, at least five. <laughs> I mean, we got, we got a lineup. Hopefully, one of them would have a question. Sim, I forgive you. Yeah. Okay. I have I have a question. I right, save Sim. Save How do guys feel about women coming into their DMs as the first shot? Honestly, like shooting their shot first. I'll go first. Go ahead. I love it, but not the way you think I love it. I love it because it'll boost my ego and everything. But at the end of the day, it'll make my chances of playing with you. Go up. Uh, Why? Because there's some about like guys. I I don't know about other guys, but I love the chase. If my dinner comes directly at me, I'll eat it and I'll be like, "Bet." But someone could still slide in your DMs and make it work for it. Still. Exactly. Yeah. But that's the thing. That's They're when I'll show their interest. The follow up. And then let you do the rest. But that, that's that's when that's when guys like me will get triggered. Yeah. I want them in front. If you slid in my DM and then stepped away. I'll be like, what the fuck? You came, at, you came at me with all this energy, and when I reciprocate, you step away. Well, why like, are you triggered then if you want to chase? That's the thing, though. I want to initiate. Oh, uh, I see. I see. I so that's because you took the initiation away from Exactly. You, you took problem. away, like, the... And there's the, no coming back from that? No, there's coming back. But it's like, it's almost like, okay, it's, it's, I feel like it's the same way for girls. If a guy goes out of the way to shoot a shot at you, you think this guy is fully into you, that he stepped aside from everything just to rush yeah. your DMs. And then most girls on the DM would just start, you know, just waiting for you to gas them up unless they actually feel you. Mm -hmm. And if they do feel you, that's when you can step away from the DMs and get into something real. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. But if a girl came in my DM, I'd be like, oh shit, thank you. Hi. Yeah, thanks a lot. You know, it's like, because, okay, personally, I don't know how to take compliments. That's where it all stems from. Mm. If you come at me saying, oh my God, you're so cute, this, that, that, I'll say, oh, thanks. I don't know how to follow up with that. But if I come at you saying, you're so cute, and you respond to it, I already have a follow up. Oh. It's like, I have a pattern in my head. Uh -huh. So it's like, I don't know how to follow up from the receiver. That's come Interesting. You know? That sounds like a you problem. It is a me problem. <laughs> <laughs> and I got all this ego. <laughs> but I do understand what you're saying. I you know, think. I'm like a technician. I'm like a chess player. I gotta make the first move. You don't even play chess. Yeah. Shut up. I gotta make the first move. <laughs> if you make that first move, I'm like, yeah, fuck it, checkmate, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Toby, Daniel. No, for yeah, me, I don't care. For I mean, me, I, no. there's a, the confidence of one of sliding in. And I, I need to go somewhere. <laughs> yeah. You know, you have yeah, the balls, you have the balls to slide in. Very harsh. So you have the balls to slide in. All right, sure. We could go from there. So you look like women with balls to slide in. Fucking <laughs> screw <laughs> 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 All right, guys. So, I'm I'm you a week. A week. Would you ever slide in a guy's DM? Ah. Aha. Ah. I yeah. don't think I would. However, mm. what I'll do instead is I will react to maybe an Insta story. That's still sliding. Mm. That's still sliding. No, it's not as direct. 
It's I guess, I guess. I guess they put it out there to get the attention and then if and you respond yes, to it. Yes, exactly. I'm not against women doing it, but I kind of see where he's coming from with it. Yeah. Sam, would you slide in the guy's DM? Yeah, I've yeah. done it before. Oh. I bet, Sam, yo, I'm going to clear my DMs, you can slide in. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a response for her though, what the hell? Yeah, I'm correct. Mean, you're walking that, you're walking. Yeah, I'm walking walk around it. Straight three point out, you know? Don't miss. <laughs> she knows she already missed. Nah, she don't gotta miss. I slid in her DM. Ooh! <laughs> Content. <laughs> that concludes this episode of Out of Pocket. We mm -hmm. wanna say thank you to our guest Simba. Thank you, Sim. Thank you, Sim, for coming on and being a nice. virtual Toby. Wow. Oh, you're gonna respect Where? me now moving forward. Because, like, <laughs> hey. All of you that have been trying shit <laughs> coming from my name that I don't say anything on these episodes. <laughs> what you gonna do? You love me? it. You love He's it. gonna talk his shit now. I'm gonna start talking. You wanna hear shit? You will hear loads of shit. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. Of course. Oh uh, no, dude, that's great to have you. Yeah, thanks, Listen, for, thanks for being on here. I will. Right, well, let's also thank our fill in. Mr. Worldwide, the hey, love doctor. Hey, listen to the podcast, Point okay. Zero. Just say it. Shameless plug. Shameless plug, no, you don't care, just drop a content in the content. Well, positive zero. What's the slogan? Positive energy always with zero fucks given. That's the way to live through life. We <laughs> love it. <laughs> so, you know, we're gonna have, uh, he's gonna have Tara as a guest on there, here and there. She'll talk about NFL players with the best ass, right? That's what That's you said? That's not what I oh, talk about. Come on now, come, come on now. That. I talk about come their skill now. set. Thank That's you. Tell her. Tell yes. The no. ass is a bonus. And tell her. Tell her. Tell her. She knows the sports. She knows the shit. They'll hear it. My it little 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 skill is talk for itself. With ass on the side. Yeah. <laughs> so the same way you guys greet girls? Wow. Oh, nobody in the pocket cut. Guys, we're going to end it off with a shot. And or a wine. Cheers to more life. Cheers, Cheers to more life. life. Thank you. And as usual, if you got any questions or suggestions or topics or anything on your mind, let us know. Please. Because Tara needs to talk about stuff. She it's has a lot on her point. mind. It's true. You I know? gotta let it go. Gotta let it go. So just let us know what you want to talk about and we will cater to you, as she said. That's true. Right, Toby? Yeah, and I have so much to speak on now, so... Exactly. Toby gonna talk to you. <laughs> get back to us. And also, you know, we're gonna be having guests, so if you, if you think you can be out of pocket, mm. let me know, I'll put you out there, mm. and then you can uh, get exposed like Sim. You, you can come to... You can come to... We're looking yeah. for that guest that will be hella out of pocket. Till then, always remember to... Treat, treat yourself! yourself. Mm -hmm. I love it.